To be serious though, <laughs> I'm kind of shocked on this. If anything, I'm really shocked. Because the fact is, with these little indie award shows going on, you know, and all these awards I've had over the years, this one probably might be the best one. Because in fact, this one is probably the most relevant. Now you see, apparently, you had this little award show that I have no nothing about. It's totally last minute. And yours truly wins Feud of the Year. Indie Feud of the Year with Trent Jericho. Now, it's probably not going to be announced until Sunday, and obviously we're doing this in advance. Not via satellite, but on YouTube. So little Jimmy's trying to get that right for a minute, all right? Now, with that being said, it looks like we're in a shoe-in. And it looks like yours truly already has the award. Because obviously I cannot be there to accept it. So, first and foremost, I thank the Academy for all that they do in these worthless uh, award shows. I'd like to thank the idiots that put the show together. I would like to thank each and every one of those idiots that's in the arena right now. More importantly, I would like to thank indie wrestling and the HWRP community in general because, let's face it, as a former owner of a company myself, as a former management in several federations myself, some of them not even needed, some of them needed my help for sure, some of them did not, or on the other hand, who gives a damn? At the end of the day, who really does? Because somehow, in 2012, the extreme one is still relevant in the HWRB community. Now granted, we have that little clusterfuck at WrestleMania, or Havelmania, whatever the fuck they're calling their shit anymore. I don't even know. I don't even care. The fact is, with this little award, with this little thing right here, it says somehow I'm still relevant. It means somehow I have something. And somehow you guys still want me back. And somehow it means that you still gave a damn about me, in which I thank you for that. Now that being said, this little indie feud of the year, I don't even know what show it is. Normally I'm up to date on all this crap, but since somebody does not want to tell me these things, I have to go on the fly here, which normally I would do anyway. But that's not the point. The point is, without indie wrestling, without just indie promotions all over, like, uh, let's say, let's think about a few of them. Because back in the day, there was a bunch of them. In fact, PCW was one of them. In fact, EWF was one of them. In fact, I remember a day when HCW was like a little, small little company. I remember when XHW was a small little company, just trying to get by. And look at them now. They are at the forefront of RP. The forefront of HWRP. And speaking of HWRP, you look at the federations and in the UK version of it, with the UKers that are slowly coming to HCW, that shows you something. That shows you something about the future of HWRP. And that really shows you something for once in their lives they can get along, which for the longest time when I was there, it was all chaos and still all drama, which it still is to a degree. But the fact is, you know, for once, we might be able to just get along. We might, for once, we might be able just to put the differences aside, regardless of who you are, who hates you, who likes you, who wants to fuck you, who wants to screw you. Not in bad, of course. But, who, of course, who wants to get rid of you? And, my friends, I have been there in those shoes. I have had screw jobs. I have had title changes. I have had everything in the world happen. For the past eight years, I was indie wrestling. I was a somebody. I actually wanted to give a shit. I actually wanted to help out the future. Some of them took it well. Some of them just spat on me and moved on. And some of those people are never heard from them again. But some of those people, 
are now legends. Some of those people are people that are more synonymous than you would think. Some of those people are still actually scraping by right now. And to those people, I wish them the best of luck in their future endeavors. But that's another story for another time. The fact is, I don't even have to be there. Apparently, the show was on Sunday. And as you're watching this now, you're like, what the fuck are you doing on Friday the 13th? Making a video that could probably have bad luck for your award. I already know it's locked in. I already know. And as you're watching this in this crowd, you're watching this in here, you're like, what the fuck is he talking about? And why is he talking so damn long for a fucking speech? Because I can, and because you're stupid enough to watch it. But that's beside the point. We're here to honor the past. We're here to honor the future of HWRP. And we're here to actually do something. Because the fact is, this little feud with me and Shrank has been going on for years. It finally gets recognized after all these years, five fucking years. I brought this guy in from PCW to HCW. He is now close to be the European champion of the world of HCW, or at least of all Europe. I don't know what the fuck they'll call it anymore because they have some international belt. That's, that's fucked up, and it might be a television title, it might be the global title. It, it's the fuck, it's, it's the equivalent of the fucking Red Belt and TNA. It's the Legends TNA global t heavyweight television bullshit clusterfuck title of the world. And basically, that's what the European title is in HCW, but it's another story for another time. The fact is, Trank, I'm not doing this for you. In fact, this award is stupid. This show is stupid. The only reason I'm doing this is to send a message to you, boy. After what you did last week and a week ago on Easter, to make me look like the bad guy, to make me look like someone that's, that's ignorant, that's an asshole, to which to a degree I can be an asshole, but I can also be the nicest motherfucker in the world, and everyone knows that. I'm only an asshole when you piss me off. And honestly, you don't want me on your bad side. You really don't. Trank, you will pay at XHW's WrestleMania. Regardless if I show there or not. Regardless if there's no longer a tag team match there for the streak on the line. You have Andre, someone that has done something. Revolution, someone that has done the impossible. Someone that was there since day one of PCW. When it was a little, little fucking federation, the PWF banner, and went all the way to HCW, went all the way as much as all the others did, and probably has succeeded more than any of those people. And I'm talking about people like Ace Page, people like Trent Jericho, people like Britt, Renee, Kells, even Cassie for fuck's sake, even Money Shit, who's probably in the crowd right now laughing his ass off about the Hall of Fame. Coming on soon, he's going to abduct RST. But the point is, Trent Jericho... Just like Andre is going to lose to The Rock and destroy the streak, you're going to get your ass kicked by me. I don't care what the direction of XHW is. I don't care what you think. I don't care what any of you think. I may respect some of you, but I don't give a shit right now. The point is, Trank, you're going to get your ass kicked. You're going to learn a lesson. And hopefully... I can knock some sense right back into your pathetic little skull. But also, I would like to thank the Academy on this award. And basically, indie wrestling, go fuck yourself. Thank you and have a nice day.